Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and on July 10th, I have one of these stress tests on my heart. What they do is they put you in, they put an IV in you, and they put a radioactive tracer that goes through your heart. They check blood flow. They can put you on a treadmill, or they can give you a drug. They gave me a drug and told me there was one in 10,000 chance I could have a heart attack. Gee, thanks a lot. At any rate, almost... You know, immediately I noticed little lesions around where the injection went in. They took it out and left band-aids on it. Of course, they took that off. But it all went away, so I didn't worry about it. Well, it didn't take more than a week or so where my arms broke out, especially my right arm. And that is unbelievable. It, it, it was a terrible mess. You would not have wanted to see it. So I was forced to go to the doctor, which I haven't done for anything since I had Bill Bell's palsy. Uh, in 2009, I had Bell's palsy. This is the last time I ever went to a doctor uh, for anything but pre-planned checkups and that type of thing. And my arm was a mess. Crusty scabs, pustules everywhere. It was leaking everywhere. I'm on the mend. This is only part one of this. Notice I mentioned the part about the radioactivity. Well, shouldn't even be able to, it should be such a small quantity, you wouldn't even be able to read it, right? But given that my arms were breaking out, and I was having these lesions all over my body, and it was scary as hell, I decided to uh, check with an old 1960s era Geiger counter. The thing went up to 200 millirem per hour in some cases, which, if it was true, I would be dead in two months. If I had that inside me, it wasn't clearing up. And so I bought a backup detector, a little one that's a little more modern. And it's off by a factor of 10,000. Lower. Try to figure that one out. I have been able to affect, if I move my hand in front of the old Geiger counter, I have been able to affect it to an extent, not much. The new one's digital, so it's kind of hard to tell whether I'm affecting it or not. The old one has a needle. But there's definitely a radioactive element there, and I don't have any doubt of it in my mind. So my advice, don't. Just don't. Now the doctor, uh, put me on a nasty drug called prednisone. If it works, I'm all for it. There's a list of side of potential side effects the length of the Nile River on it, but, uh, I don't know, it's worked out for me, so I'm all for it. But here you have the American Heart Association touting this test. My advice to you is don't. Just don't. I did a little research and what I found out is that you can break out in rash. You can get a rash from stress, trust, stress test drugs. This went fur further than some rash. I mean, it was on all, all over my body. So I'm going to say this again. Don't. Just don't. You can take it or leave it. It's up to you. I know I'm going to hear from medical professionals. Oh, it's safe. It's a one in a trillion thing. <laughs> Bull. 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 Hockey. Bull. Hockey. Don't. Just don't. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Take it for what it's worth. Still radioactive here in sunny western New York State. And by how much, I can't even tell. Thanks for watching.